CTV News with Sandy Rinaldo. Good evening. Well, it's New Year's Eve, and Lloyd Robertson is at home retiring. Let's hope it's permanent. It's exactly one year until the millennium. Until the melanin. Melanonial. Millen. Millennium num num num. Malaria. Miller time. Melenscap. Miminelli. Milli vanilli. Millen e num. Sitting in for Sandy Ronaldo, Lloyd Roberts. Good evening. Yes, it's New Year's Eve and exactly one year until the millennium. <laughs> when are you going to retire? <laughs> and what a year it's been for the banks. Joining me with more is Craig Ottawa in Oliver. <laughs> Craig Oliver in Ottawa. How are you doing, Lloyd? I'll ask the questions, Craig. <laughs> What is the mood of the finance minister concerning these bank mergers? Lloyd, there's little doubt that the minister sees bank mergers as a contentious issue that will impact our economy irrevocably. <laughs> Lloyd? Sorry, I wasn't listening. <laughs> I was saying, Lloyd, the mergers are very important. Craig, have you ever thought about wearing a toupee? What? Uh, uh, no. Uh, so anyway, the banks are reeling over this possible setback. Craig, do you think I'm as handsome as Peter Mansbridge? Uh, Lloyd, uh, Do you? Uh, well, uh, yes, yes. Mm. What about Peter Kent? <laughs> now, he's very good looking. Am I as handsome as he is? Lloyd, the point I'm trying to make is the future of banking has reached a crossroads. Craig, uh, I'm going to interrupt you there so I can give you my trademark Lloyd Robertson concerned look. <laughs> Here's the most shocking detail of the merger, Lloyd. Thanks for your report, Craig, and give some thought to that toupee idea. <laughs> there were major developments in the Middle East today, but first... A musical selection from my favorite opera. La donne mobile, la donne mobile, la donne mobile, la donne mobile. Still to come. Still to come, Goldhawk fights back. That's right after this commercial break. Men, is your hair limp and lifeless? <laughs> then why not try my Lloyd Robertson shampoo for news anchors? <laughs> Gives your hair that full-bodied, fluffy look, just like Canada's most trusted newscasters. <laughs> well, what happens when consumers can't get satisfaction? They go to Goldhawk. Lloyd, Mr. and Mrs. Fern Fenwick of Flim Flon took back a case of 12 empties to their beer store. However, upon returning home and checking their change, the couple discovered they'd only been reimbursed for 10 bottles, so they came directly to me. At great expense, I flew straight to Flim Flon and visited that beer store. Oh, who cares, Dale? <laughs> It gets better, Lloyd. I doubt it. Here, <laughs> let me show you something really interesting I've been working on. These balloon animals I've made. Now, this, uh, for example, is a poodle. And here, here is Peter Mansbridge. <laughs> I'm as handsome as he is, don't you think? Right. So, Lloyd, I was able to get the Fenwicks their money. 
Dale, the big question really is, when the hell are you going to get a haircut? <laughs> Soon, I guess. Thanks, Dale. Fabulous report. I'm not finished yet. Yes, you are. <laughs> that was Dale Goldhawk, a man with far too much time on his hands. And that's the kind of day it's been. For all of us at CTV News, I'm Lloyd Robertson saying, Millennium. As television has grown, so has the public's need to introduce a rating system to junk it up. Now, America was the first to introduce a voluntary system, and now it's Canada's turn to follow that meaningless gesture. <laughs> By now, you've all seen the new symbols on your screen and said to yourself, what the hell is that? <laughs> oh, that's one of them now, yes. You'll notice the center of the symbol is empty, meaning one of two things. The program has no content, or it's an episode of Geraldo. <laughs> All television shows will employ this new rating, except for variety, sports, news, music, talk, documentaries, and other informational programming, which leaves reruns of Mr. Dress Up and Gilligan's Island. <laughs> now let's look at the specifics. This symbol means no offensive language, no sex, no nudity, no point in watching. <laughs> Hello, I'm Deirdre Smythe Gleberman. On this day in history, in 1534, French explorer Jacques Cartier landed on the shores of what is now eastern Canada. Cartier had hopes of starting a chain of expensive watch and jewelry stores. <laughs> Cartier traveled inland to explore the new land. I claim this land for the glory of King What's-His-Name of France. I shall be famous as the man who began a new era of French colonization. Uh, not so fast. <laughs> who are you? Stand behind the red line. <laughs> Next. <laughs> what is the meaning of this delay? I am here to discover Canada. Well, you're only about 10,000 years too late, friend. <laughs> okay. You look familiar. Were you in that movie, Dancers with Wolves? Yes, I was. What is your name? Kevin Costner. <laughs> Reason for visit. Reason? I am here to claim this land for the glory of La France. Well, there goes the neighborhood. <laughs> Occupation. I am uh, an explorer. Adventurer, courageous traveler. I'll just put down dork. <laughs> I love this job. <laughs> uh, what's your native tongue? I am a master of many tongues. Oh, yeah? What are they? Uh, Cree, Inuit, Dene? No. Uh, Blackfoot, uh, Mohawk, Haida? No. Then you don't know any native tongues. <laughs> I'll just put down illiterate. How dare you? I am Jacques Cartier, world-famous explorer with over 50,000 frequent sailor points. <laughs> I am a very important person. I am very popular. I am known all over France. I can have any woman I want as long as I can come up with the cash. <laughs> Look, the whole reason I am here is to discover Canada. You are treating me like a second-class citizen. Wait until you go through the body search. <laughs> No way. Application for immigration denied. Next. <laughs> denied. <laughs> denied. 
Now, down here we have the G rating, means this show is for general viewing, either that or it's garbage. <laughs> On the other hand, a PG rating means you might catch a brief glimpse of nudity if you're lucky. <laughs> In other words, PG means possible genitalia. <laughs> But there are other ratings also. <laughs> this symbol means the content is not suitable for viewers under the age of 14. It contains violence and frequent use of profanity. Now, that is not the kind of thing our children should be exposed to on TV. They have the schoolyard and the shopping malls for that. <laughs> now, this means anyone under the age of 100 is not advised to view the following program as it contains scenes of incontinence, Flatulence and very unusual use of a cork. Time now for Man's World with your host, that macho man, mm, Buck McSweeney. Yo, audience. Yo, Buck. Right, we got a great show tonight, so let's bring out my special guests, members of the. Great Cup winning Toronto Argonauts, Doug Flutie, Pinball Clemens, and Paul Mazzotti. So hard. Oh. Now, you guys play the toughest, roughest sport in Canada. You constantly risk serious career ending injury. You never back down from any physical threat or confrontation. My question to you Have you ever tried a really dangerous sport? Like what? Synchronized swimming. <laughs> the man's sport. You get to wear a frilly little bathing suit and nose plugs while swimming in time to Celine Dion music. I tell you, it's living on the edge. Uh, no buck. Never done that. And you call yourselves men. <laughs> All right, tell us about your little uh, Grey Cup victory. Well, Buck, it's a dream of everyone who's ever played in the CFL to make it to the final game, stand on that field on Grey Cup Day, and freeze your ass off. <laughs> Pinball, what was the highlight of the Grey Cup for you? Catching that touchdown pass in the second half was a real thrill. But the highlight had to be Friday night when the cowboy rode the horse through the hotel lobby. I'll, I'll never do that again. Paul, what was your biggest thrill? Being on the end of a Doug Flutie pass. When he uh, threw you that, uh, those key passes at the end of the second quarter? Uh, when he threw me the keys to the truck at the end of the game, Buck. <laughs> Let's talk about mental toughness. You play the entire season to get to the Grey Cup, game after game, pounding on the body. After a rough contest, you're in the whirlpool, beaten, battered, totally spent. <laughs> Will any of you ever get the urge to put on a tight-fitting bathing suit and do little windmills with your feet? But what are you talking about? Synchronized swimming. <laughs> You swim in six feet of lukewarm water, never knowing if your bra strap will break. Man, I get wet just thinking about it. <laughs> but you gotta get out more. Pinball, I want to ask you about your unique name. Uh, where did you get the name Clements? You play football without a helmet, haven't you? All right, uh, we got a highlight clip of you guys in the Grey Cup. Let's roll that tape. Buck, I, I could have sworn the field was frozen. I don't remember that play. I think I do. <laughs> Paul, uh, pinball, Doug, how does it feel to be leading the Argos to a championship season? Well, Buck, it's a team game. And we play with a great bunch of guys. We took it one game at a time. And play like there's no tomorrow. We gave it 110%. Because winning the game is more important than any individual honor. These guys are good. <laughs> Doug, Pinball, Paul, you're great athletes, but if you want to stay on top, there's something you should try. Synchronized swimming. Right. Maybe we should give it a try. 
Pinball. Doug. Paul. You're all right. Yo, Yo Bartos. Oh, jeez. <laughs> ah. That's all for Man's World. I'm Buck McSweeney saying men keeps women. Don't forget to wear your waterproof mascara. And someday you can be a champion. Just like the Argos. There is also this one. <laughs> Meaning, a politician is about to make a speech. Chrétien's Corner with Jean Chrétien and co-host Ron McLean. Welcome to the special edition of Chrétien's Corner tonight from Ottawa. It's the Ron and Jean show. Let's uh, get started. Uh, Prime Minister, everybody's still talking about the deficit. Okay, for sure on that, don't talk to me about deficiting, Ron. Me, I am a lunch bucket kind of guy. We can't be afraid to go into the corners to cut spending and reduces the payment to 3% of GNP or some other number. You're uh, starting to sound a lot like another guy I work with. <laughs> okay, wise guy, what would you do? Well, I'd balance the budget by eliminating excess and waste. You know, Ron, that is so crazy, it just might work. <laughs> what about strategy? Well, for starters, you could save a fortune on Parliament Hill by turning the eternal flame down to simmer. <laughs> or better yet, make it into one giant hot dog vendor cart. Meat and potatoes guy, you're starting to cook. Okay, I got this idea from my dog, Bleh. He says we need a debt tax. And how would that work? No amount of fancy stick work is going to pay off the debt completely, so me, I'm going to ask each Canadian to make a one-time payment of $20,000. Hey, it's a small price to pay. Or we could get Eric Lindros to kick in a week's pay. You know, Ron, you're pretty sharp for a guy from Red Deer. How did you get so smart? I avoid spending too much time in Ottawa. <laughs> Prime Minister... Look, we're almost out of time. Any final comments? Okay, for sure again's on that. What we got? 30 seconds? Okay. Unless we do some things about the deficit real soon, it's going to be too late. Gee, I wonder if this guy has any idea what he's talking about. <laughs> Furthermore to that, we got to find new money, like taxing immigrant pippas coming to Canada. Maybe we can charge twice as much to those chicken Swedes and wimp ruskies. Must remember to pick up some earplugs next time I'm at Zeller's. <laughs> and so, in concluding, Ron, the economy of the peoples will be popular if you drop your gloves and job because unemployment fish are like a five-minute major, and that's all for that. Okay, for sure. What uh, really scares me is I'm starting to understand them. <laughs> that's tonight's episode of Cretchen's Corner, where we get the PM's raisin d'etre which, of course, in English means to be grapes. Please go present Pamela Wallen Live, brought to you by Pamela Wallen Hair Care Products, including Wallen Welder, the hairspray that keeps your hair in place forever. Hello. We asked one of the most respected politicians in the country to join us tonight. He refused, so instead we got... Lucien Bouchard. <laughs> As you're aware, I'm known for my tough, hard-hitting interviews. Oh, that is fine. I'm willing to talk about anything. About the referendum. I don't want to talk about it. Fine. Let's switch to Jacques Parizeau. I'd rather not. Well, Monsieur Bouchard, since I can't get you to answer my questions, here's someone who can. <laughs> I'm seeing two Pamela Wallins. Think of us as Peter Mansbridge's worst nightmare. <laughs> All right, Mr. Bashar, no more Ms. Nice Guy. We want straight answers. Your referendum failed. What did you learn? Good question. Uh... <clears throat> 
I now know you cannot win a referendum simply by fixing a few writings. Uh, you've got to uh, fix them all. <laughs> If you could speak directly to English Canada, Mr. Bouchard, what would you say? Good question, Pam. Uh, to Pamela's, um, scientists would welcome peace with Canada. Uh, we do not want you as fellow countrymen, but we welcome you as tourists. Ask him if he was a tree, what kind of a tree he would be. That's a Barbara Walters question, Pam. Why would I ask that? Higher ratings. Sir Bouchard, if you were a tree, what kind of tree would you be? Tree? How oh, oh, ridiculous. I, I, I could not be a tree. How about an aspen? A pain in the aspen. You look good on that one, Pam. Well, you know, I'm always looking good when I use my own styling product, <laughs> Pam Moose. And it works best after using Pamela Wallen Memories of Saskatchewan Conditioner. <laughs> Made from prairie grain extracts and crazy glue. <laughs> Just one application and your hair will look like a wheat field. Hey, hey, what, what about me over here? I have been completely ignored. That's exactly what will happen if Quebec separates. <laughs> Wallen. Good night. I'm Pamela Wallen. Good night. Thanks for watching. Air Fires is back next week with a brand new show.